my question is as i already told you previously that i have a problem that madhi comes out any time so for that you told me to make wudu for every prayer and if you see a madhi stand on underwear then simply sprinkle water over it no need to change and you can pray so i am doing this in every prayer because underwear is wet all the time now because of making wudu five times and i am unable to know whether madhi had come out or not so i am sprinkling water every time is this right and i don't see sometimes any little stain okay listen But to me listen to me uh, faizan now first of all i'll assume that my hearing is not correct and you did not say in the beginning wadi because wadi and madhi are different two things so most likely you meant madhi and i'll assume that this is what you've said in the beginning and it was my hearing that was wrong secondly the default is that if there is nothing coming out that you don't sprinkle water and you don't perform wudu you only perform wudu when you're certain that something something was emitted something was discharged and this thing is continuous so it is great hardship for you to uh um perform wudu any every time it comes out this is called ma'dhur in the books of fiqh and it's similar to someone with istihada or with urine incontinence because they cannot find enough space of time to purify themselves and perform wudu and pray without anything coming out they have this concession in sharia due to the hardship that whenever the adhan is called you go clean yourself if there is traces of madhi you sprinkle it or wash it or change your underwear make wudu and go and pray even if it comes out no problem because it is continuously coming out and there is great hardship you cannot live with that now if you don't have 24 hours 7 days a week continuous discharge rather it happens only after you urinate and after 10 15 minutes you're fine in this case no you cannot apply this ruling you have to wait until you are not emitting anything wash yourself change your underwear or wash it and wash the affected area make wudu and pray now if you continue to the other salat the following salat and you don't feel any discharge coming out you don't have any proof of it and your wudu is intact no need to perform wudu again you can pray as you are i hope this answers your question